Hello everyone and welcome back to Albana, a total conversion mod for EU4, playing as Kovoria, the Vampire Nation. Let's continue. And we still have a bit of war exhaustion, so let's wait for that to be gone before coring anything. We are still trying to integrate you. We are almost integrated, so that's good. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah. Other than that, things are going okay. The Age of Green Tide is almost over. That's fine. I wonder if we get some kind of special thing over here. Hmm, justified wars. Uh, we'll see. I can't really tell here. Whoops, hello. Yoink. We gained a few ships. Oh, nice. Uh, keep them, I guess. Fine. Oh, what's this? Rebuild Bell Ord. The ancient Castorian citadel of Balord defended Castanor's southern borders from further Nolish incursion. It now lies in ruins. It's, it now lies in ruins. Let's restore it. The town of Balord has grown around a great white tower. Though it has always been known that this tower was once part of, the, of an even larger fortress. The foundations are still there, and they are still sturdy. Our engineers see great potential to restore the fortress to its former prowess. They argue that if we, if we rebuild this fortress, it will greatly increase the defensive potential of the site. Our enemies will break upon splendid white walls. Yes, restore it. Keep the fort as well. Hmm. Oh, nice. Impressive. Alright, oh, it will wreck you as well. Oh, damn. Dame Star. Nice. This is still going down, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're still... I much oblige Cyrus' request. Oh, damn. As the vampires spawn, Adamar the First is the respons is the responsibility of their sire. The vampire who granted Adamar the blood gift. As such, by a vampiric tradition and customs, our king is duty-bound to follow whatever orders he receives, regardless of the crown on his head or the throne he sits atop. Recently, Adamar's first, Adamar the First's sire has begun making exorbitant demands of him, demanding their granted privileges above and beyond that of any no normal nobility. And today, another such demand arrived in Arca Kovor. Deep red ink scratching out an absurd request on bone white paper. How shall the king proceed? Fine. Hmm. I thought you supported the crown, stupid vampires. I guess not. How absurd. Hmm. Long lived. Hmm. He's not a vampire. Hmm. Oh man, I would rather have him take the throne. Much better. This is great. A level 2 half price. Well. Uh yeah. Well, you know what? We'll do it. We can afford it. We are... Well... Not making a ton of money, but we're making a bit of money. Let's see here. Let's get another cavalry. We do a bonus. Two cavalry. Plus 20. Not too bad. A truce with the stair has ended. Right. I still need this here and this to complete more missions. The problem is Wex, the Emperor. Good relations? Well. Don't. Uh, oh, it's tech time. It is. Hmm. A rebellious scum popping. Bell Ord rebuilt. After years of construction, after a year of construction, we have finally restored the old citadel of Bell Ord. It now sits proudly in its old position and will greatly bolster our defenses henceforth. Splendid. <coughs> Pardon me. Stupid sneezing. Uh, global. You know what? Let's start off that as well. Oh, rated coast. Oh, they're pirates, right. Hmm. Wix. 
No way. Twanin is gone. Hmm. Oh well. Sixty-six. Hmm. No. Aren't you not taking this one? Maybe you can't. Maybe the princes are saying no. Uh, right, come home from Sirenvar. Um, okay, work exhaustion almost gone. Active concealment. I guess if we could... Whoa. A hundred. Hmm. Okay, Basilian things here. Oh, now they took it. What's this? The nation of West Ham? Oh, wait, what? Has the following junior partner Wex? Oh, wait, what? Who is the emperor then? Sibyl. Oh, you got Wex under you. Against Gawet? And who else? Oh, Laurent? Oh, you're in a coalition. What the frick? No. <laughs> no thanks. Have Orkish clan courts. How about no? Okay. Power state is going away. Mm. Just beat by Arboran, our rival, I think. Laurent, oh damn. Is Laurent like France here or something? Oh damn, Laurent is getting wrecked as well. Oh, you're also. <laughs> okay, collision up against collision. Something like that. Uh, yes, call. You can take an idea. Which I think is probably a good idea. <laughs> Giggity. So we got what here? I am the land. Kovoria has a long tradition of royal absolutism dating back to its predecessor, the Korborids. The king and the land are one, and all peasants who belong to the land belong to the king. Stability cost modified down by 20%, and yearly absolutism up by 0.5%. Okay, that's pretty good. So we keep making this cheaper and cheaper. Religious unity. Oh, right. Uh, hmm. Could convert, which I might do. I don't think the vampires care much, right? I haven't seen anything regarding these missions. I've like peeked a bit uh, around to see anything re regarding uh, religion. I haven't found anything. There might be something, but I haven't found it. Uh, right, go on here. So maybe we should convert. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Marshal Bliss, eh, no. Reports have reached us of a feral vampire acting within the capital, though such monsters are not unheard of. A vampiric, vampiric rumor swirling amongst our people shall surely draw unwanted attention to our ruler and other vampires in our country. As such, the Vampire States has demanded the king lend state assistance in hunting down and destroying this errant predator. predator. The tone of these requests began politely, but have recently escalated into all but commands. As if they've forgotten just what role Adam are the first place within Kavoria. Indeed, this is the tradi traditional responsibility of the vampire state. Our king could intercede, however, and even overrule them if necessary. My domain, my rules. Assist. Whew. Facade suspicion. Ugh. Wow, that was expensive. Yeah, I'm... I need a hundred loyalty before I can do anything. Like, uh, lower this here. I, th I thought we would have some kind of disaster, but I guess not. But maybe I'm just getting these bad events because they've gotten, like, so high here with vampires, with their influence. That might be why. But how the frick are we going to get a hundred. Okay, do this. That's like 
opposite a bit. The clergy base tax. Magisters. Uh here. Temple here. Uh fine. Damn all our money out the window. I want the vampires to rule, but I don't want them to rule like that. And have bad events like non-stop. Whoa. Why is the technology cost so high? Eh? Hmm. Because they have so much influence? Maybe. This is great. Okay. Here. Hmm. More reparations. Uh, let's see here. Estuary. No, we don't even own that. God damn it. Flooded coast. Produced. I would like to get rid of these knolls, actually, but... Mm. It's still, like, what do you call it? Food. <coughs> Pardon me. Food for um, our vampires. Though, I don't think this is a good idea, having them at a hundred. Clickade. Hmm. The country is ruled by vampire 20%. Oh, right, okay. <gasps> oh, damn, that's so close. Uh, hmm, let's get morale. Oh, we have another rebellion on our hand. Where? Everywhere. fort here shall save us. So, let's see. Can we do any missions here? Mechanism still up. Nah. Over here, I need to wreck. I need to take that one. Yeah. Reclaim. Oh, we need that stuff down there for that thing. Okay. Um, hmm. The Court of Blood. We need level 2 all around. Okay, then we could do this. Dustin's way. Unite the folly. Only the rest there. Okay, this one we could do. Hmm. The Court of Blood. Penum Penumbra? Penumbra covers these lands. The Dark Aristocracy stands ready to take command of the Knight and all it needs is the organization to coordinate their efforts. We are happy to oblige them. And with the seat of such power in Arkakovor, all shadows in Kanor shall serve us. So, we invite other vampire nations. I'm not sure if there's any other vampire nations, but oh well. Need to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. We can do the Way of Dustin. When the Castanite tribes was lost in the deep woods, they were let out of it partly due to Castan's friend, Dustin. In exchange for his aid, Castan granted the lands beneath the God Shield Mountains to his companion, naming it after him, Dostanor, just as he did with Castanor. Now that the heirs of Castanor is no more, we must repay the favor. Dustin's way. And they became a... Oh, they became a march. A vassal, oh. Are they a vassal now instead? Oh, they are. Okay, good. Nice. Now here, make the army fearful. Okay, 300 military power, wow. Level 3 advisor, hmm, the Dark Legion. I oh, need to drill. Okay, import silk. Holstead, what? Fabric, need 6. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me. Mm hmm. That's a lot of, uh... Oh. 
No vampires. Oh, there was apparently some... Oh, damn it. Other vampire nations around. Oh, we're still running this here. Okay. Well, that's fine. Eleven. Uh, six. Oh, we could just uh, pop them, basically. Provoke. Le pop in Lance End. Okay. Age of, un of, un oh, Age of Unraveling. With the rediscovery of Alentir comes the secrets of the Precursor Elves, and with them the secrets of the world. From east to west, scholars seek to unravel the mysteries of the past, bringing about an age of exploration and reformation. Uh, I'm doing one. Hmm. Own a province in Alentir. Uh, I think I want to convert as well. Right? For the lols. Join the Coronites. We are trying to turn over the establishment. Whoa. Okay. Prepare for a lot of text. Followers of Balgar tend towards magni magnificent tombs. Adherents of Munas are given to the waves. Those of the dame are buried with the light of the moon. But what kind of funeral do you give a god? That is one of the many questions. The 11th Panthonic Council of the Regent Court has set out to answer. Every high priest of every temple has taken in the Merle of Castellar in magical rendi rendition, or having gone to the Elentir to see it in person. They have seen one or two even touched his shattered scepter, and they were borne witness as most Canor has come to believe in his death, with not even a whisper from the gods to contest it. The gathered representatives of each god has, had expected discord over the claim of Castellar's death, unprecedented in the history of the court, but there was little. Even Castellone's own representatives, an aged Castellarian refugee, was more relieved to finally have an answer to the question that has twisted his soul for decades, why the Silver Dragon did not come again. Instead, most of the debate has been around what happens next. Traditional Canorian succession law would have his son, Aiden, take the throne. But what was rooted in the traditions of Castellus's Castel favorite country, Castanor? With him gone, with the old empire gone, and does it really still apply in the court of the gods? Adherents of Corin, led by Dominic of Gallo, speak. Now wizened with more than nine decades of age, decades of age, but still a member of a circle, a recorder of her teachings, a speaker of her truth, argue otherwise. Instead, they claim succession would obviously be a contest based on, based on merits, one of which surely the heroine of the Green Tide excels. Moreover, she inherited the legacy of Agrados, Castellus's brother and thus has a dynastic claim as well. The priests of Aiden's mother, Esmeral, uh, and sister, Rayla, Raylala, Rayla, are quick to back the god of chivalry and righteousness. Many others, especially the priests of Nathaline and Falar, are not so sure. This debate has raged for weeks, and may rage for weeks more, but one thing, at least, that there is agreement. Castelo is indeed dead. All Cano, all Helen, shall mourn him, and the world will never be the same. King Adam the first and all of Kavori will observe the rites of mourning uh, for two years. He has been dead for a long time. Well, I'm not really planning on, but idea cost down for five years. Our king. Uh, hmm, idea cost even further down. Ooh. The God of Chivalry. Yeah, 20. That's pretty good compared with our other 20. You know what? We'll take that. Though I think I will convert soon. Uh, handle them by provoking. <sighs> Why am I losing so much money all of a sudden? Advices, right. Can't really afford it, but I will do well this and do this. Then we can do this. Make the army fearful. Oh, 300 military power. For far too long, our armies have been viewed as a mere peasant rabble. It may take a general. Be quiet. It may take a generation of military reform and training, but in time, our enemies will learn to shudder in fear at the sight of the Black Raven. 
30 years. Professionalism goes up one by year. Okay. Uh -huh. What the fuck is this? One of the following, at least one. I need to elect us to like us. Okay. Path of Raven. Oh, I need to own stuff in there. Okay. Uh, six and six. Oh, I ran out. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, fire. I can't. No, wait. Uh, no, fire you as well. Can't afford it. Should we drill? Sure. An alliance from Bepek. Okay. So, oh, Coronite Crusaders. I wish there were flavor text here for the lols. Just hmm. forty. That's pretty good. But this is funny. I'm not sure if it's funny, but why not? Oh, what the heck is this? Paragon. Is it bad being down here? I can't really tell. Ah, okay, so the lower Paragon Hood we have, we get unrest, but permanent causes spell against ne neighboring heathens and heretics. Manpower and true faith goes up uh, if it's 33 or higher. Uh, we gain reputation near the corruption if it fits in the middle. Between minus 33. It gives this stuff here. Unrests down. Different reputation near the legitimacy, absolutism, manpower. Alright. So if we go in one way or two, too much, it gives unrest, I see. The Coronites believe that Corin, the recently ascended god of war, is more fit to lead the region course than Castellus' son, Aiden. They believe that. Aiden is too conservative and neglectful, and that the Regent Court must become a more active part of people's lives. Darkness and tyranny must not simply be held back, must be rooted out and destroyed. Yes, because we have no darkness and tyranny here. <laughs> uh, convert the f uh, hardest things first. We only have one. Uh, do right now. Ooh. Okay, the vampires. Hmm, that seems a bit odd, being crusaders. <laughs> But they don't know we're vampires. Oh, I've died. Uh, it's too expensive. It really is. <laughs> okay, try again. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. I guess we're gonna take up this way here. Just wreck you. If possible. Oh, and Katie. Oh, you have like nothing. Let's see. I think you have a. No, I thought you had claims on it. Huh, I guess not. I could give it to you though. Glade March. Nah. Let them fight. Independent. Mm. I don't want further down or oh, missionary strength. Okay. Oh, is this? Oh, I thought this. Uh. Hmm. I thought it was a plus something. Oh, it w probably went down because we went to war. Right, right, right. Right, right. 
That. Gold new up. Oh, we can remove something. Uh, I don't like a hundred influence. What's this? Okay. No, wait, what? Oh, it's cap still. Uh, maybe just need a tick or something. I don't know. Putting those as well. Oh, damn. Two seven. Can we do a defend up the faith here? Oh, we can. Even though we're vampires. Vampire. Get over here. Don't want to take it. Satan stand. Get them away, that's fine. Let's see, it's you we're fighting. Can you go here? Just piece them out, basically. Uh, okay, so we... I see. Go this way. Yes. What are we building here? Oh, spreading the good faith. When can we actually devour you? 43, okay. Some time to go. Dragon fell. Okay. What coronoid? Oh well. Eh, go away. Fort defense, I guess. You have a uh, no one siege pip. Doesn't really change much. Maybe they're willing to just white piece. They are. Well, they're even giving me some cash. We do love cash. Can we just devour them all? Why not? Even with the oh, because there's oh, they're not heretics, right? Let's see, what happens if I did something like this? Whew. Eh. Damn. Okay. Well, get this here. We gained a fort. Interesting. Do we want the fort? I'm not really sure. Nah. Not right now. Drill. Drill. Though. Oh. Onyx Legion lands in LN tier. Oh, okay. Onyx Legion. The Onyx Legion hold a fanatical, some would say near heretical devotion to Nerat and the destruction of any ab ab abomination against him. While they have been renowned for their par part in defeating the undead hordes of the White Pestilence in Dostanar. Uh oh, that's us. The tide has now turned against them. A proclamation has come from the Necropolis in. Corsetone ordering them to ordering them be expelled from all corners of Kenor. None can say for sure it was due to their growing influence over the temple, challenging its hierarchy, uh, or the strange accusations that the order has of late brought against many nobles in Kovoria. All that can be said is the order is no longer welcome in Kenor. Hearing rumors of a perverse death cult in Alentir, the Legion has set out to form a new home beyond the horizon and cast down these blasphemers. Oh, we can play them. <laughs> uh, nah, that's okay, but. I wonder where they are. Onyx Legion. Sounds cool. 
Death Cold. Q Q. Uh. Oh right, it's down here. Uh, what do we want? It's grain. Two one two. I guess. Well, what are we doing here? I could use some more. Diplom uh, military. Mm. I would like to get two two two. Yeah, fine. All right. <sighs> A war here. I'm still bringing the wax. No pearl edge. Are you wisdom? Oh. What the frick? An inquisitive advisor. The various advisors to serve the court in Arca Arcacobor are paid well for their brilliant minds, as they pursue inquiries into the most fruitful path forward for Coboria. But the downsides to employing such curious creatures, one of them has recently begun to note a ruler's late night excursions and unusual nature, so took it upon themselves to investigate further. If they are simply if they were simply a peasant with a wandering mound mind, this would not be troubling due to the long standing measures taken to preserve the identity of our king. However, likely due to the proximity of to a king, the advisor was able to gather evidence and nurture suspicion until they finally pierced the veil. They have now realized Adamar's true nature, and they're threatening to expose them before the country. Them. It's one person. Why is them? Before the country and the world. Large increase of facade suspicion. Shame, I did like you. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh well. Hmm. Uh, taxes. I do like taxes. Uh, fine. Eh, uh, what's this now? Sugama. Eh, uh, okay. Yeah. Can we claim here as well? Eh, uh, I guess just court. Fine. The Sugember Reconquest? Oh, must be this one here then. Count's Bridge, yeah. I do claim on that stuff. Hmm. Uh, I need the Emperor, which is Pearl's Edge down here. Or something, was it here? Here. They have allies over there. If I attack you, these fellas here would help, and these fellas over here would help. Which would suck. Uh, you would not help, which is okay. A Renan uh, rival would help. If they're still a rival. Hmm. We do have this very good general, though. So it might not be too bad. Repay. Anything we can do? Enthrall the electors? Right. We'll try and make them, us, them like us. I still need that dust the neck thing. We settled the coast. Oh, need to wreck you as well. Hmm. Uh, the path of Raven. Ma that's all that stuff over there. The Dark Legion. Fifty armor vesselism. Okay. A unique mercenary company, the Dark Legion. Sounds cool. The Raven banner marches again. Uh, oh, damn. Territory. Oh, territory. Hmm. What is territory? Oh, up there, right. Coronite, coronite. Hmm. North, cast the north. Okay, well, should I go help? I do like having allies, I guess. Just go here. Can. I'll go there, then we'll attack over here, I suppose. I think we'll just try and occupy this for ourselves. Not that we'll get any, any of it. Well, unless I did something like, I don't know, but you might want it as well. Yeah. I don't want to lose Sugamber as an ally just yet. Okay, go in. Blast these fools. 
to smithereens. Then there. Now I do need to build a fort here. Hmm. Oh no, don't take it. Nice. I think I want you to just to be defensive, actually. Defend my land. Oh, can you go here? Nope. Innovative ideas. Oh, hmm. now they're rampaging my land. Hmm. I would like this one before we take the next institution. Okay, you pitch something. Or oh, pieced out someone, rather. Uh, damn. Okay, they really want to wreck my land all of a sudden. Let the hunt begin. It's well known that vampires hunt going out in nightly incursions to fill themselves on the blood of prey. Less well known is the fact that in fact, there is more to hunting than simple nourishment. A good part of the reason vampires hunt is for the thrill of the chase itself. Edmar the first feels the stirring of both the sires in his loins tonight. With all the necessary preparations complete, the king departs his seat of power, searching for the victim who shall be prey tonight. Why would I do that? Small increase in facade suspicion. Will he get like some kind of bad thing if he doesn't do it? Ah, fine. I bet there's something bad stuff if we don't take it. Now this facade thing, restore core build. Oh, the city. Oh, damn. 13. Vampire Tracker. Never. Hover over the question mark to highlight other nations. Oh, I see. Ah. Facade suspicion. Oh, no suspicion, okay. Maybe it's not working yet, I don't know. Can you go here? Eh, fine. Well, I don't want to take Shroud Fort. Also, we can turn this off here. Save it off cash. No, here that's fine, we'll keep that running. I guess investment, because why not? It's our capital region state, so... Should we find the hunt like a shadow? Oh, damn. Arka Kubur lay in darkness, and it was a darkness of three parts. The most obvious darkness was that of the comforting shadow of the main square, lurking between areas of torchlight. A darkness constantly pierced by the opening of a tavern door and the outpour of light and music, but all embracing in the mo moments in between. In the king's palatial estate, many slept, and those that did not primarily did their work in a darkness of another kind. A darkness foreshadowing the deeds of the days and weeks and years to come. And there was a third darkness, not an easy thing to notice, the darkness of Adamar the First. As he walked the streets confidently, patiently in obscurity, a darkness that crept and prowled, raced and held granite still. A darkness well familiar to the hunting panther or watchful owl. In due time, the darkness found one of the inhabitants and marked him, a talented artist with a long beard and curly hair, working late into night on a sculpture of Halana. In between one chill stroke and the next, the man disappeared. disappears. Well before dawn, Adamar returns home, his face expressionless, his eyes bright. All without incident. We get bonus to... Oh, I don't want the plus diplomatic power. I'll probably get it now, now that I said it. No? Good. Oh. Hmm. oh, well, we gain one of these, I guess. No. Sure. Yeah, reset that. Buzila. Take it. Uh, fine. Good. Get up here. Immediately. Hmm. We block this stuff here. We probably need a fort here, regardless. I don't want to need this fort to build it here. This fort doesn't block, like, this small entrance here, which I would like to block. 
Uh, still swamp, so I guess that's good. Mm. Nice. Oh, we're still coring it? Oh, right, we are. Glorious. Border cliff. Eh, uh, just go back. I think we've sort of done our part here. In this war, only plus 23. What? Really? We're occupying, like, so much stuff. It's because we're not occupying this one yet. Intelbury, city guard. Oh, damn. A lot of stuff. Whoa. They can't actually go here either, because this block's here, this block's here, I think. Hmm. What's that drilling at, by the way? Oh, only eight. <laughs> Ancadia. Flying Hound. Common notes goblins, I think. Decrease, okay. Times of need. Manpower. Sure, give me some military points. Major victory. Okay. Oh, they said no. Hmm. A helping hand. Oh, what? Hmm. Maybe not. Should we do. Mm, no, let's not. Right. Raven March asks for help. Oof. I'll help. Wait, how big was these provinces? 18. Oh, that's why <laughs> it costs so much taking cloven wood. 40. Jeez, Louise. Okay. I see. That's why. <laughs> oh, still not dead. Goblin refugees prevent entry. I don't want goblins. Oh, but money. Would a vampire care what they feasted upon? Maybe, maybe a bit. They are sort of... a bit arrogant and snooty. Okay. What's going here? Well, it's going forward. Maybe we should take religious ideas. All this conversion stuff. The Night of the Long. Oh. We don't want stability less than one, I guess. Less prestige, less legitimacy. Oh. What? Hmm. No, we have more. There. Oh, only one of them, right. Okay. I am the land. Yes. Cool, cool. Drill and drill. Oh, good. Mm. Ah. Wisdom. Woodwell, Castaner, Elna. None of them would help. Trust, work, sortion. Okay. Oh, now they would. Right? Yeah. Trust is a bit low, though. They could bring in a decent amount of troops. 
if we pull them in. We do need this province here if we want to advance with uh, some of these missions here. Oh, we never boosted Silk Cavour. Oh. Ooh. Well, wait for the conversion to be done so it's not that difficult. Invitation to a banquet. Edemar has still has been invited to visit the court of a great noble family for a fair. Ex accepting such an invitation would require great effort to be taken to avoid drawing attention to our Adam Edemar's vampiric nature. Not to mention the risk presented by sunlight. While they are under no obligation to attend and and such an event, it will be seen as a sign of disrespect and certainly draw this family's enmity. But should a lion really be concerned with the feedings of a sheep? Of sheep. Uh, take measures. So. Still a hundred. Oh, that's odd. The Blood Court. Vampires in administration. Midnight Command. Okay. Mm eh, money. Oh. Who's about to rebel? Those fellas over there. Convert. Uh, mm, fine. Hello, hello, governor. Provoke. Smash, smash, smash. There we go. Keep drilling. And drill. What's our inflation at? One. Oh, I think we need to do this. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see. Tech is mm, soonish. Hopefully, these two should like stop most of. Oh, yeah, right. These are in, in the war as well. Yeah. That's done. Good. Good, good, good. Bell Ord, Bell to Stan. Alright, well, no swap around actually. Not sure if we can get out there, but we can try. Our own navy won't do much. Do war with Sirenwa as well. Soon. Ooh, have a lot of troops. Let's see, we're not maxed out here yet. It's not too bad. Not accepted culture. Gobbling. Stupid goblings. Couldn't uh, like get rid of them. On paper, we should have more. I'm not sure if this also counts for Pearl Edge's allies. I don't think so. No. No, it doesn't. But give it a go. See, do they have enough ships to take control? No. Busilas's navy and Sukamba's navy is not big enough. Damn. Oh, I'm not sure this was a good idea. But <laughs> too late. Okay, we can't get to Nethlair. I wonder. Oh no, would that? No, okay, we don't need a fort because it's on an island. But uh, let's see if we can't piece out some of these fellas here. Maybe even take a province or two from them. Oh. They are locked. You're a bit shite. Should we try our luck? Alphonse? Oh, damn, Alphonse. Yes, please. Two siege pips as well. Pew, pew, pew. 
too bad. Uh, swap. You had two siege. Yep. Go there instead. Uh huh. Oh, they're gonna get wrecked. These two, I think. I think we just need to try and piece out some of these fellas here as fast as possible. Are you still under them? Yeah. So we just focus on. I ran in. Should should be okay. We don't have twelve, right? No. Can you go here? You can. Hmm. Well. Very warlike. Oh, maxing out in diplomatic. We're still doing diplomatic ideas. This also pops soon ish. One of the following. Okay, we can't pop it. Have it pop here. Okay, go here. Let's see. Uh, a Renan? Nope, not yet. You go up here and assist. Okay, that should do it for you at least. Yeah. Uh, let's just take one thing. Stop being allied to. Oh, Ashanta, yes. And Nathlayer. <laughs> uh, let's see. Need to piece out you as well. Maybe we should try and save Buzilla. So Gamber a bit so they don't peace out, bro. 42, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. Go here, wreck them if possible. Eh, court. Didn't stack wipe them, but okay. Let's help them a bit. Mm. Can we head over here and kill that stack? Perhaps. Loring crack, can we reach that area? Take the war goal, I guess. Let's have that up here as well. Kill them. Take it. Good. Oh, they left. Uh, because of that fight, which we're losing. out this city under would be nice as well uh, actually swap around instead I think we need to buy more cannons here after this war oh we have to be a bit careful here what you're killing Three stack, okay, that's fine. Hmm. Protect our trade. Fine. Uh, 
go here. Don't suppose we can peace out Seliander? No, not yet. Probably need this fort and maybe another fort. Uh, oh, they're taking Shroud Fort. Not good. Do they have like Tech 12 yet? No. Raven March. Okay. Ah, shit, they got it. Really? Hmm. Take it. Ah, shit. They're really going ham on my land here. Which sucks. Major balls. Okay. Seliander. You're willing to peace out. Yoink. Oh, nah, no, we don't want a coalition. Just give me some coin and stop being allied to Nethlayer as well. Over here. Mm. Oh. Shit, okay, we just still win. They lift that siege and that siege, alright. They're going out to New Corveld. They are locked. Gonna wreck them. The Grimson Deluge, oh no. I think. No, that's good, because we are Coronite. Uh. As the prophets of Corin spread her message across the continent, what can only be described as an apocalyptic scene has inspired many parts of the Empire. The sky would darken, as if about to rain, only to open and release a torrent of blood onto the unsuspecting citizens. Horrified, crowds of people rushed through the streets, trying to escape from the plasma showers. Many were crushed and trampled as they attempted to escape. What could only be seen as the end of the world, whether someone acknowledges Corin or Adain as the Divine Mother and Father, all agree that this is irrefutable evidence of a bloody and terrible war in the heavens themselves. It's only a matter of time that rivers are not fed by the blood of gods, but by the blood of men. A sign of Corrin's truth. Oh, we liked it. Alright. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's a bit too expensive, for my taste. Government. Oof. Oh no. Do they have take 12? They might. Magistus, uh, how about no? Damn, I actually lost. Mm, they must have taken like 12 here. Pike and shot or whatever. A really good commander. Uh, steady pour red. The Crimson Deluge does more than direct damage. For new Corveld, it has instead been a never ending downpour. That is. Drowning crops and forcing people to stay inside. Those that go outside go mad. No work is getting done. Fine. We'll do this as well. Thorn formation. Yes. As I suspect our foes has it as well. No, no. Okay, move down here. Repent! Kill that army, that would be nice. No stack wipe though. Uh, again? Jesus. I need the prestige. Oh? Hmm. Uh. Oh. 
Well, head over here first. You go here and take that, I guess. Well, we do need to quad, so we'll finish the one next episode. Hopefully, a victory. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Very much appreciate your support. And a big extra thanks to my channel members Mike Murray, Tim Marino, Wiscomat, Jeffrey Henderson, and Christoph Kroll. Thanks again. Hope we see you all next time. Bye.